So this fight is taking place in Warsaw, Poland at the uh, Stadion Rockla, which is a massive football stadium. So there's a massive Ukrainian refugees that have fled to Poland. Uh, so this is such a big fight. It's almost like a second home for uh, Alexander Yusik. Let's take a look at the odds. So these odds for Yusik versus Dubois, uh, Dubois being from England and Yusik being from Ukraine. Uh, again, Yusik's basically fine at home, sold out stadium. Alexander Yusik is at 1100, minus 1100, while Daniel Dubois is plus 650. Uh, win by KO for Alexander's minus 250, and Daniel Dubois is plus 900. So these are good. These are good uh, odds for Daniel Dubois if you want to put your money on that. But there's, I don't see Dubois winning. It's Alexander Usyk. He's prepping for hopefully Tyson Fury or someone bigger. So this is a this will be a sparring match for Alexander Usyk. I think Alexander is definitely going to dominate this fight, and I think it's going to go. Oof. I don't know the I don't know the other guy. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him fought, fight before. So I'm just gonna go with Alexander Usyk uh, winning. It's gonna be a straight 12 rounds, I think. If he hasn't been able to knock out AJ or anyone bigger than that size and just win by points, I think Alexander uh, will get the win by unanimous decision. So let's see what happens. All right, let's start round one. Okay, feeling each other out, some jabs. Yeah, he's Southpaw, and then Dubois is Orthodox. Ooh, that's a strong left. Yeah, damn. Oh, left hook. Yeah, so they're just feeling each other out. It's not, it's not bad right now. But Dubois is landing some heavy, some heavy hits. These are heavyweights, so you have to remember these guys hit really hard. Round five, round five. All right, all right. Let's take a look. Oh, sh oh shit! He knocked him out. A low blow. Oh shit! A low blow. That's scary. I thought. Oh, what is that? Was that a low blow? Oh. Yusik is down. Yusik is down. Let's take a look. Is that a low blow? Ah oh, man, Tech technically, but that's on the belt. That's on the belt. Oh man, I don't know. That's right on the belt. So the ref countered it as a low blow, and he's giving him time to gather himself. Oh shit. Oh. A knockdown. Oh snap. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Alright, let's go. Let's see him. Okay, he's up. Damn, that was a strong combo. Oh. Oof. Damn, he really he really came back. Yusik really came back. Uh Especially from that low blow or body shot. I'm not sure what it was. We'll look at it later. Nine. Oh! What was that? Right? Just from a right? That's not even strong as arm. Oh, they stopped it. He didn't get up. Dubois didn't get up. Damn, he didn't get up. Damn, straight with a right. Let's see what they're saying on Twitter. Uh, people are already talking about this fight. <clears throat> Amir Khan was never a low shot. Hashtag Yusik Dubois. Yusik really a beast. And one of my favorite fighters to watch. This is how I saw the fight going, but it wasn't a low blow. Dang, people are saying it's not a low blow. Size and muscles don't win fights. Jeez, people are pissed. Sam Jones, no low blow. Dubois should be champion of the world. Shit. Teddy Atlas, I said Dubois had the boxing skills, but not the mental toughness. 
That's from Teddy Atlas. Teddy Atlas is very biased. Um, not sure what to think about him. Steven Espinoza, not a low blow in my opinion. Yeah, Steven Espinoza from uh, Showtime Boxing. Audley Harrison, go there again. That was the belt line, not low blow. What the F. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so many are saying that it wasn't a low blow. Uh, it's very difficult to say. Uh, technically, maybe it was a low blow, just because it hit it. And again, I'm a Usyk fan, but I'm not gonna stick up for him. Um, I think if I, if I was the ref, uh, with proper training, I, I don't know. I think at that moment, <clears throat> I don't know. I, it's just hard for me to say. I can't. I can't get. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Was it a low blow? Was it not a low blow? Um, I, I don't. I don't know. I think everybody's saying it wasn't a low blow. Um, but man, referee, you just need to get a better referee. I guess maybe someone with experience, but or or something. But I don't know. It's so hard to say. It was an okay fight. I thought it was kind of boring. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't pay-per-view. I'm glad it was on uh, the zone. I have the subscription. Um, I don't see Usyk um, as of now beating Tyson Fury. Um, I love both of them. I thought Tyson Fury would lose to Usyk. I thought Usyk could outbox him, and he still could. He still could. But uh, after this performance against Dubois, and I'm not saying Dubois is a bad dude. No, res no disrespect to him. Uh, but he's not a world champion. He's not a class boxer, and I don't, I, I don't think this fight shouldn't have been that way. It should have been like a masterpiece. I mean, look at what uh, Usyk did to AJ two times, right? And Billy and Billy U. So I don't know. Tyson Fury and and Usyk will be an interesting fight. But Styles make fight. You never know. It's boxing. Obviously, look at the ball. He might have. He could have won. I could have been a knockdown, and that could have been a knockout. Or um, Usyk would have gotten up and would have performed poorly after that because he's exhausted and would have would have lost, would have gotten knocked out. So I don't know. They might run it back. Do I really want to see it again? Not really, but I mean, if they're gonna run it back, might as it'll shut all the haters up for for those between uh, whether you're Usyk fan, your team Usyk, or whether you're team Dubois. Again, I'm a big boxing fan, so I love boxing itself. Um, I respect both fighters, so I am on both sides, if you say. Uh, the only reason I want Usyk to wanted Usyk to win was because I want to see him fight Tyson Fury. Uh, I think that'd be a better matchup uh, than Dubois and Tyson Fury. But again, it's boxing. It's boxing, and maybe Dubois uh, deserves to be there. And we'll see. Hopefully a second fight maybe happens. I, I don't know. It's, it's whatever. But yeah. Cheers from uh, my living room. It's 5 p.m. here in Texas. 